Okay. Well, I hope 2024 started off on the right foot for you. Oh, let me talk to you. This is your lovable widower, Prince DJ. And, yeah. I want to do some takeaways from not only New Year's Eve, but also New Year's Day. So, well, when I talk, when I get to the NFL pickup, uh, part of it will be uh, talked about then. But, um, let's just say... New Year's Eve was always spectacular. I mean, you got the uh, uh, the uh, famous Times Square New Year's Eve ball drop at uh, Times Square, where the revelers be there sometimes from 9 in the morning with no bathroom, and you're in a place for hours, and even until midnight. Now, imagine it, being in a place with no bathroom for hours. I had... I I couldn't even fathom that one. I I almost tried it, but then I went went uh. But then I said, you know what? I watch it from home. I watch it from YouTube. But well, back then, when I had I had a particular home, that that's when I had family. But I just call it like the second palace or whatever like that. Y'all know what my real home is. Real home is the cruise ship. Real home is podcast movement and podfest. Those are my real home. But anyway, so the real, real home is no matter the uh, the palace, and and then where I'm uh, resting my head anywhere else is called the second palace. Yeah, more big D country local for you. <laughs> okay, so take a lead for New Year's Eve. Uh, New York City has a brand new, um, brand new, yeah, brand new New Year's Eve uh, ball, and I saw it, and I was like. Wow, that is that is also finally finally changed for the better, finally. And of course, uh, fireworks throughout the other parts of the country is always fabulous. And Houston has finally brought back their fireworks since uh twenty twenty fifteen or something like that, whatever like that they said. Now, New Year's New Year's Day started off normal, started okay. That was a promise. It was going to be a normal day. Okay? So I thought. So I thought. Until the first night. Night one. Two takeaways. Two things that I learned. This will go for guys and girls too. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'll help both of y'all out. Be careful when you get put in the friend zone. Whether you put the money in the friend zone or they put the money in the friend zone. You may never get out of the friend zone and sometimes the worst possible scenario could come true like it happened for me. Is that they wind up finding somebody else. Da, da, da. What? Yep, it happens for the first night. Uh, I know this citizen, let's just say the name that pertained to protect the innocent. I'm going to call her, hmm, I'm going to call her Jennifer, okay, for, you know, the name that pertained part. So, I know Jennifer, a.k.a. Uh, changed name to protect the innocent, known her for years on Facebook and everything like that, and uh, they told her, like, the one time that she said that, 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 uh, uh, she was going to do something, and then, um, and then she wanted to look in, but then, a few years down the road, like 2023, 2024, when it was already been a crazy year as it is already, sure enough, on day one, and I didn't find it out until, until yesterday, but Jennifer found somebody. Da, da, da. Yeah. Then, yeah, it is going to be. It, 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 it's just going to be heartbreak mansion. And I'm not going to say the other word because of uh, one idiot that I don't like who has a song. So I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to replace it with whole, uh, um, heartbreak mansion. So the uh, the. The queen 
a big D country, have been lied to, and I was been uh I had the attention known about what happened, and that made me upset. I said, "How in the world are you gonna do this to the Queen of Big D country?" I uh, what? I mean, come on. So I have to have my heart smashed. I was like almost like I had to go to Big D Country Hospital. I mean, the day started out so promising, so promising. It was a night. Well, of course we've seen the kiss around the world. But I will talk about that later, because that uh, part of it come to. But yes, uh, one of one of my team is uh, cemented in the uh, in the playoffs, and somehow, some way, uh, they are. Uh, I think it was like the AFC champion, the AFC. Yeah, but anyway, we'll talk about that when it get to. But uh, so be careful who you be. Uh, putting the friend so uh friend zone that be both men and ladies because if you really still love this person but they don't love you back and then they wind up finding somebody else, you will be put in heartbreak mansion. Yeah, I had to learn that the hard way. <sighs> now that I had to let that out of the bag, I mean I was like devastated the whole night. I mean it, it like started so promising, so promising. And yes, I admit, I cried a little bit. Yep, yep. Yes, I said it. Did I stutter? I'm a man, and I admit that I cried a little bit. Yes, I did. All right, now, let's get to the business at hand is the NFL pickup. Okay? We got... Okay, so I'm going to do... I'm doing the uh, Week 17, uh, the aftermath. We got one more week to go before uh, wild card weekend and then uh, the divisional playoffs uh, um, action. So, let's start with the basic at hand, the week 17 aftermath. Alright? Alright, so, Thursday, the 28th. Well, it was the, it was the double down action with the, the, uh, the Browns versus the Jets. The Browns won by the score of 37 to 20. And it was a double down, so that was one one win. And thank you, Cowboys. But although although I have to say this, the officiating at some of these games are the reason why I have double down. Now there was some now I'm not a, I'm not a Lions fan after what the Chief Justice friend did, but there was some crazy plays close to the fourth quarter where a guy, uh, one of the players from the Lions, uh, was, I guess he had something to do with reporting eligibility. I never he- heard of anything like that in the NFL. I just like somebody get to the end zone, the receiver get to the end zone, so the quarterback could throw the ball, and then the team uh, could catch a uh, touchdown. But the touchdown for the Lions was taken away by the reporting incident. Now, they were saying that the referee rigged the game for the Lions. And, shockingly enough, the Cowboys won that game. Now, they were one of my team. They was one of my ride-or-die team. I mean, the officiating the officiating the had been so terrible during the course of this NFL pickup. I mean, it's been terrible, absolutely terrible. What is up with the officiating at these games? You got the Houston Texans uh, situation, you got the Chiefs situation, and now you got the situation with the Lions. And I think there was another situation with the Bills that the uh, Chief Justice was telling me about with the bad referees. I think it was, but I'm pretty sure Chief Justice will let me know uh, or remind me about it. I just forgot right about now. But what is up with the officiating? I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. Are you mad because you have to work both holidays? Uh, well, all three holidays, like Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, and New Year's? Is that what it is, that you keep getting back called? But then again, you haven't back called throughout the whole season. The whole season. Goodness gracious. And like I said, I'm just playing devil's advocate because, you know, after what Chief Justice Friends talked about the Lion, you know, I haven't been picking them for double downs. 
But I have double down because of the ref shenanigans. That's why I have double down. Anyway, the final score was twenty to ni- twenty to nineteen. It was one point game, but it was it was crazy. It was a crazy ending. You could watch that on YouTube on the on their NFL chant uh, entitled uh, "Lions Cowboys Crazy Ending." I mean, you don't have to take my word for it. You can watch that for Exhibit A. Anyway, uh, whoa. Okay, so that's two wins, and this is my third win. And but yeah, and a weird score, by the way. Texans uh, versus the Titans uh, by the score of twenty six to three, and Texans won that game. So two of my home official home teams have won. So that that would be good, or well, that was good. But Titans wasn't even allowed to score in the third quarter. I mean, no, not the third quarter, but the whole game. And it's one more week. Before the uh, one more week of the regular season, before the playoff, I mean, you got to wonder if you're the Titans, you got to wondering what the hell did we do to only get three points? You got to just sit back and wonder. Okay, uh, next game on the list. So, so uh, we're still on Sunday game the Bears and the Falcons, and somebody's calling me. And no, 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 somebody was calling me. Right in the middle of a podcast, and it wasn't even a school. Yeah, oh yeah, I am. I am trying to go back to college, y'all. But and it wasn't even a school. But anyway, uh, the Bears versus the Atlanta Falcons, and it's another one for me. Thirty-seven, seventeen. So that's one, two, three, four wins. So that's good. Here comes win number five. Oh, yeah, pair of 137-17. I did say that. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ravens versus the Dolphins. Now, I thought the Dolphins would happen, but, wow, the Ravens was very good. And I guess they must have done their homework against a very powerful Dolphin, which I still might say that could get further into the playoff. I mean, both teams could get further into the playoff. I mean, like, the uh, anyway, I mean, we could see a different matchup with the Chiefs. I mean, we could see Dolphins Chiefs. We could see Ravens Chiefs. Uh, we could say Houston's Chiefs. I mean, I mean, there's a, a number of possibilities with the Chiefs matchup on the Super Bowl. There's lots of possibilities. But anyway, anyway, uh, the final score was the Ravens uh, 56. Now, that's a football score. Ravens 56 and 19. Uh, uh, the Dolphins 19. I guess the Ravens learned from the Dolphins playbook. Especially after the killing that the Dolphins did give to the uh, Broncos. Still can't still can't forget about that. Saints and Buccaneers. And, okay, so this one, two, three, four, five. So that will be five wins. And this will be win number six. Because, and this is a ride or die. Saints won against the Buccaneers. So 23 to 19 was your final. Thank you, Bills. Thank you, Bills. Uh, the Bills beat the minority members of the Patriots. Or the Pats. Stupid Pats. By the final score of 27 to 21. So that was my seventh win for the week. Uh, eight win because of uh, Carnal. Whoa, Carnal beat the Eagles, huh? 35 to 31, but it was still a double down game. So it's still eight win. <laughs> Thank you, Jaguars. Thank you so much. You get number one. You gave me my ninth win, and number two, you got revenge for the Panthers after what happened to the Houston Texans. So, thank you, because the Jaguars make sure that the Panthers wasn't able to get on the board because it's a shout out right before the last week of of regular season football. A shout out. The final score was twenty six to nothing. Wow. All right. And, well, 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 well. They was lucky against the uh, against the chief on Christmas Day, but not so on New Year's. Even though they're one of my one of my team, 
because I go go to Vegas or I used to go I used to go to Vegas, but they're still my team. Vegas late Vegas Faders luck ran out on the um uh, on the uh New Year's Eve uh spectacular with the Colts. The final score was the Colts twenty three and the Las Vegas uh Rams twenty. Uh, okay, let me win before I have to go through this uh, craziness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. Ten win. Okay. Uh, the Traders. No, oh, the Traders beat the Giants. Come on. So that was my. So that was. So it was twelve to one. 26 25. Well, they they only beat by one point, but still, the traders won. Come on, okay. So, 12 1. All right, uh, 13 1. Thanks to the 49ers, beat the stupidest team of football. And thank god the commanders will not be in the playoffs. Thank god, thank god. The, tw- the final score was 27 to 10. All right, Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Seahawks, and the uh, oh yeah, so that would be my th- yeah one one loss and thirteen, and that'll be my fourteen win. Steelers beat the Seahawks by the score of thirty twenty three. Fourteen win, and and this is what I want to stop and talk about: the Bengals versus the Chiefs now. Uh, the Chiefs got their revenge. Uh, now I still remember that funny uh, helmet throw uh, in, right in front of t- uh, Taylor Square, but uh, you know, uh, and uh, and right in front of Santa Claus, which was uh, Taylor Swift brother. And um, uh, I can't believe I'm talking about Taylor Swift. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I'm right in the middle of the NFL pickup. I can't believe this, but. Uh, Anyway, Karma is the guy for the Chiefs that coming home with Taylor tonight. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, but yeah, so the other one I want to talk about: Telefriff and 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 um and Travis had the kiss they were thought that broke the internet. Now I didn't get a New Year's Eve kiss in real life, but Travis K K did, and there was others that did. So I had FOMO. Fear of missing out. But, although the Chiefs uh, did uh, punch their ticket for the uh, the rest of the playoffs at uh, AFC champion uh, by the score of 25 to 17. So, that would give me my 14th win of the week. Thank you, Brocco. Now, although you had a crazy year... You have gave me my 16th win of the week. Thanks for beating the stupid Chargers, the greedy Chargers, by the score of 16 to 9. 17. So I'm only 1 and 17 for the week. Hey, and right before the last week of the, the regular season. So this is this is really good. I would probably would have been in a in a in a playoff for football pick predictions. Anyway, <laughs> the Packers beat the Vikings by the score of 33 to 10. And that is your uh that is your week 17 aftermath of your NFL pickup. And uh I mean 24 24 you're still higher, but why did you have to do that on the very very first first day? First day and you had to do that. Well, not first day. It was first night that I found out. But, and remember, friend zone. If you get put in the friend zone, remember the fear. They will find someone else right before they give you a chance. Remember that. I'm talking about not only not only to, to women, but also men too. They will find someone else. Remember that. Stand clear of the first of uh, the friend zone. Stand clear. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
And remember, just what kind of vacancy that you might be fulfilling, because you might be a permanent resident of the friend Donald 